Hi boys and girls and welcome to today's math lesson for subtraction. Before you begin, please make sure that you have your math textbook, your two color counters, and you also will be doing uh, your math warm up number 15 today. Okay, so once you have all those materials, we can get started. All right, so today's lesson, we are going to do vertical subtraction. So let's talk about what that means, okay? When we have been doing subtraction number sentences, we have been going horizontally. And this blue line right here on this arrow where my little cursor is going back and forth is horizontal, okay? Vertical is like the way I'm going up and down along the edge of this box right now. Okay, so vertical is up, okay, and then horizontal is this way. So we are going to be doing some vertical subtraction today. And it's the essential question for chapter two is how do you subtract numbers? So we are going to learn so that at the end of this chapter, we will say I can subtract numbers. Okay, so our first math warm up for the problem of the day is this. Okay, you have to write a number sentence to solve this. Now, if you'd like to get a, a whiteboard or a piece of paper, pause now, get it, and then come back. Okay, so here is your math story for the problem of the day. Greta built nine birdhouses. She sold three of them. How many birdhouses does Greta have left? Okay, so let's think about what this says. How many did she have to start? She built nine of them. Yes, very good. She sold three. How many does she have left? When you write your subtraction number, subtraction number sentence, make sure you use the correct symbols and while you're working on that, pause this video and come back to check for your answer. Okay, here we go. All right, so it's nine birdhouses that she uh, did all together. She built them. She sold three. Okay, she has six left. And then because they have an answer line right here, we write the number six on it, and it's six birdhouses. They're using a picture label. In math, answers should be labeled. So a lot of times you'll notice they'll either put a picture or a word next to the line where they want you to write the answer. Okay, so we are going to do a little bit of math investigation right now. So here is the question they want us to explore. How can you write a subtraction number sentence a different way? Well, here's one way I can show doing it a different way. Okay, so usually we can have some counters, okay, or I'm sorry, well, yes, these are counters, but they're connecting cubes, okay? So right here, I could say this is four minus one equals three. Now, if it was something that I was also having to write, I could do this, all right? And I would still have the four minus one equals three, okay? Now, another way I could do it is the vertical way. So I could take four, one, two, three, I'm putting them on top of each other because I know when they get to a certain point on this, they always want to go away. Two, three, and four. So here's my vertical, okay, because it actually is going along the side here. I'm going to subtract one. Now, for me, I could take them away, but if you're using, oops, yeah, if you're using paper, then you put the X on it like you've been doing. So how many do I start? Okay, so this is the same math sentence. I know I put a red one here. 
but this is the same math sentence. It is showing the same thing vertically. Okay, so we're going to talk about how to print the math sentence vertically. Okay, so we're going to do that together soon. So there's our investigation with that. All right, so right here, look at this, there's some leads. Okay, and as you can tell, there, here's vertical. Okay, here's horizontal. Now, one of the things I want to point out is they both have a minus sign here. Okay, and we talked about about this before when we were talking about addition and it's the same way with subtraction here's the equal sign now this straight line is another way of showing equals but on a vertical sentence only okay so here is and I'm getting some of my counters ready okay so on what I want you to do is as I tell you the story I would like you to do the same thing in your book, all right? I love that giraffe, munch, munch. He's got such a cute little face. Um, okay, so right here it says there are four bugs on a leaf, okay? So there's one, two, three, four, okay? So there's four bugs, okay? And on it says that three of the bugs flew away. So I'm going to, what I would like you to do before we continue, you can pause this after I tell you what to do. I would like you to trace the circles or trace your counters on your leaf now. And then come back. Pause now. Okay, so you're all done. So now you have four circles here, right? Okay, three of the bugs flew away. So what we'll do is we are going to X out three of the circles. One, two, and three, okay? And then they wanna know how many bugs are left on the leaf. Well, remember, we start with how many there are, the whole, and it was four. There's four bugs on that leaf. How many of them flew away? Three of them. I know, that's a bad looking three. How many bugs are left on the leaf? That's right, one. I heard, I heard a couple of you say it while I was talking. Okay, so here's my vertical subtraction number sentence, okay? Now, I'm going to do the same thing on a horizontal number sentence, okay? So I'm going to use, just so that it shows two different um, colors, one for one leaf, one for the other, I'm going to use yellow for the other one. And again, there's the four bugs, okay? Okay. And then I would trace them and pause and come back. So now I'm going to, again, X out three. One, two, three. Okay. So again, how many bugs to start? There were four on the leaf. How many flew away? Three. And how many are left on the leaf? One. Now let's take a look at this. What looks different other than the colors? We, we won't worry about the colors of the counters. But what looks different? Tell, some, tell someone in your house when you look at the counters what looks different. That's right. On this one, they're vertical or up and down. And on this leaf, they're side to side or horizontal. Okay. What looks different with the two math sentences? Tell someone at home. Okay, that's right. This one is up and down. This one is side to side. That's right. This has the line to show equals this has the equal symbol okay i always think of this line as kind of holding up the, the rest of the math sentence whether it's addition or subtraction okay what looks the same tell someone at home oh 
Okay. Well, these both have four counters, and this leaf has four counters. That's the same. Three of these are X'd out, and three of these are X'd out. Let's look at our math sentences. Hmm. Well, this has a four. Here's a four. This math sentence has three. So does this one. And this one, the difference has is one. And the difference here is one. Good job. All right. So let's go look now at our see and show. Okay, so you can turn the page and look at that. So as you can see, there's a couple of dominoes here. All right, I'm going to read this to you and I'd like you to follow along, please. Okay, don't um, don't trace over the, the numbers yet just until I, I tell you a little bit about this. You can subtract across or you could subtract down, just like we did with the leaves. When the same numbers are used, the answer is the same. Again, just like the story we did before with the bugs on the leaf. So here you have a horizontal or a cross domino. All together, there are seven dots. There's the seven. Here they've X'd out three, minus three. What's the difference or the answer? One, two, three, four. There it is. Now let's look at this helpful hint before we continue with the other one. You can write subtraction number sentence two ways. Okay, that's a good helpful hint. And again, how many dots altogether? The seven. How many are being taken away? Three. And how many are left? Four. And notice, this is what I like too about dominoes. See this? Here's the three being taken away. The three is over here. The answer, the difference, the four is next to the answer. Same thing here. Okay? All right, so now for see and show, you are going, look at this, they already have the subtraction number sentences written. So you're going to find the difference, which is the answer, the difference for each of these subtraction number sentences, okay? And I just want you to check carefully what they're doing, okay? Not just look at answers, just not just write answers down. Look at this domino, here's six, they X'd out one, what's the difference or the answer, okay? When you can pause while you're figuring this out and then you may come back and check your answers. Pause now. Okay, here are your answers, the differences for each of the subtraction number sentences. Pause if you need to check or correct. Okay, how is subtracting down like subtracting across? Well, let's think about that. They both have a subtraction symbol, okay? If you're using the same number, you're going to get the same answer. So it's really just a matter of it going vertical or horizontal, right? But you, when you have the same numbers, you will get the same answer. Okay, for on my own, for five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, they do have dominoes for each of those, all right? So I'm going to show this, tell you to pause and solve it, and then come back and check. Okay, here's your answers. Pause and come back. Pause. Here's your answers. Okay. Now, for the next four, they you can use um, counters, okay, to solve this. But I want you to notice for 11 and 12, it's horizontal, okay? And down here for the vertical ones, 13 and 14, to help you, they have a box for you to enter your answer for the difference, okay? They are also trying to get you, you used to making sure your answer goes right under this side. And let me just say that this 
is very important for you to get into that habit now, okay? Make sure that when you have your nine, see, notice how the nine and the one are under, one is underneath the other. Your answer should be underneath here too, okay? Not all the way over here or over there. Because as you learn to use this, um, it's just easier to, to see your answer. And when you get into older grades, your work stays neater and it's easier for you to work on it, okay? So pause and solve. And here are your answers. All right, so for problem solving today, they want you to write a subtraction number sentence, okay? There are eight zebras eating grass. Two zebras stop eating. How many zebras are still eating grass? Okay, so remember, read it first, and then think about what they want you to do. How many are eating grass? Eight. How many stop eating? Two. How many are still eating? Pause and stop. Okay, here's your answer. All right. Pause it if you need to, um, you know, fix something. That's certainly fine. All right, and here's our last one. They would like us to solve it vertically. Okay, piece of cake, you could see this. So there are nine leopards in a field. Two leopards leave. How many leopards are in, still in the field? Pause and solve. Okay, nine were in the field. Two leopards left. How many are left? Seven leopards, and there's our little label I've told you about that label the answers. All right, so now we have our um, right math. How is subtracting down different from subtracting across? Well, let's think about that, okay? Because we already know that using the same numbers, you're going to get the same answer, but they want to know how is it different, okay? Well, for, oops, let me get that again. All right. Mm, I don't know why that's not doing it. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Oh my goodness, I'm getting so frustrated with that. Okay. So how are how are they different? Okay. Um, how is subtracting down different? Okay, uh, we read from top to bottom for subtracting. And you can pause this, okay, to write it. Subtracting down for across. We read from left to right. Okay, so that's it. All right. We read from top to bottom for when we subtract vertically. And when we subtract across horizontally, we read from left to right, just like when we read words on a line okay so boys and girls you did a great job today thank you for coming and listening all right don't forget to do that math warm-up and i will see you soon bye bye